Susie. Some of you guys might know me. Some of you guys probably don't. I'm the children's pastor here. Um, so if you don't have kids, you don't know me. But now you do. Pastor Susie, nice to meet you. Um, and we will get to see you again, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after. So get used to seeing my face and all the kids. We're very excited. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you all for being here today to be with us as we celebrate the accomplishments of our kids. Uh, during this service, we are going to take the time to honor five of our kids. We have four girls and one boy. They have fully completed the club or class that they were just in, and that not only requires them to show up every week and to do the work, but it also requires them to do some extra things at home for them to get this honor. So we're very excited for them, and we're excited for you to be a part of it. Um, to begin with, in just a second, we're going to ask you guys to stand. The Royal Rangers will bring in the flags, and we will do a few um, pledges. Yes, <laughs> pledges. All right. <laughs> At post 45, fallen. Attention, pledge to the American flag. A pledge to the American flag, present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, liberty, and justice for all. Ready to pledge to the Christian flag, present arms. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior when the key in the stands. One brotherhood, uniting all two Christians in service and in love. Ready to. I pledge to the World Ranger flag, preserve arms. With God's help, I'll do my best. God, my church, and my fellow man. To live by the Ranger code, to make the golden rule my daily rule. Ready to. A real ranger is alert, alert clean, clean, honest, courageous, loyal, courteous, obedient, and spiritual. A real ranger is ready, ready for what? Right, ready, ready for anything. Ready to work, play, serve, worship, live, and obey God's word. Pledge to the Bible, present arms. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. And I hide this word in my heart that I might not sin against God at ease. Good job. Thank you. All right. So first up, we're going to have our Royal Rangers. Um, that's our club we have on Sunday mornings in between first and second services during the Connection Hour. Um, we have Royal Rangers from Ranger Kids, which is... How old for Ranger kids? Kindergarten. Kindergarten, first and second, and Royal Rangers goes all the way up through high school. Um, yes, expedition. So if you have a boy and they're not in it and they would like to be, you should definitely bring them on Sunday mornings to join and be a part of it. Yeah. They learn a lot and they have a lot of fun. Um, first up, we have Commander um, Jason. I know, I was going to go Brandy and Jason first. She came up uh, with the Ranger kids. Hi, uh, again, my name's Brandy. This is my husband, Jason. This is Tommy. Woo! Hi, Tommy. Ah! We've been teaching Rangers for over 20 years. And um, we've been here at this church for about two. Uh, we came back when, um, uh, or came here when our church unfortunately had to let the program go, and we just felt like this is where God wanted us to be in teaching the boys. And um, it's not often that we get, um, <laughs> sorry, it's not often that you have um, children, even with parents that are in the church, that get to come as often as they do and get through a whole program. And so we are honored to be able to present to Tommy his um, award for, um, he's been with the <laughs> kindergarten through second grade. Oh, no, <laughs> we got pictures. You didn't see that. Um, so he's been with the Ranger Kids program from kindergarten through second grade, so for all three years. 
Um, we did honor him in the first, um, in between the first and second service. Um, he just finished his third year with his trail of cougar and earned his lynx, cheetah, path, uh, panther, and tiger patches, which then brings him to a completion um, for the Ranger Kids Gold Trail Award. So I'm going to give this to you, Mr. Jason. Now, real quick, with this, um, we memorize a lot of scripture verse. And with our scripture verses, we learn sign language. And part of this is getting the boys to grow both physically, spiritually, mentally, and socially. And so this is a lot more than just, and just hanging out and doing crafts and stuff. This is Bible memorization. This is leadership. This is everything. This is preparing him to go to the next group where they, still, uh, they instill in them leadership skills and then life skills. So we also teach them clean body merit and stuff like that. So there's a lot that goes behind this, not just, uh, not just uh, babysitting. Right. So. so thank you. And that's yours. And then this is a small gift. You can open it after church, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. It's all me. All right, awesome. Uh, next up, we'll have our girls ministries program, which is the equivalent for our girls. They start in, I want to say kindergarten and also go through high school. Um, we have four girls that will be honored today. Uh, but before we get started, if you are a girls ministry leader, volunteer, teacher, or a Royal Rangers leader, volunteer, or teacher, will you please stand? We would love to honor you and thank you so much for all you do. We appreciate you and all the hard work you put in. Thank you. All right, we have Miss Kelly Horvath, who is the director of our girls' ministry program. Good morning. So we do um, gender-specific clubs here because our boys will one day be the spiritual leaders of their homes yep. and their families. And we want that instilled in them from the wee little bitties. And the women, we want them to identify with how God sees them and the roles that God has for them, not the world. So we do take pride in what we do here for the girls and the boys. The first student that we're going to have today has completed two years of attendance, memory verses, learning how to be kind, learning how to serve God, and love others. So I would like to present to you today, Kinley Knight. <laughs> Kinley, uh, like I said, has completed two years, so she will be getting a certificate today, which I will give her, and she will be getting corded, which is the last step before she goes to the next club, which currently she is in STARS, so she is in uh, my class now. Um, so Pastor will present her with her cord. Kinley, this is your certificate for completing your units. And now pastor's going to give you your cord. And then she also got an honor pin. And then the next student we would like to present is Aubrey Nelms. <laughs> Aubrey Nelms also has done two years memory verses. She has completed all of her units as you see on her sash. So she will be getting an honor pin, a certificate, and a cord presented by Pastor. <laughs> There's your certificate. And your cord, you go to pastor for that one. Okay. 
Okay, our final two students are in the STARS program. Actually, now they're in middle school. Um, they just completed their STARS program, which is three years. Um, it is a lot of work. It requires at least 90% attendance. Um, each unit has four sections to it, so it lasts about a month. Some of them last two to three months, depending on the meat of the material. Um, and one of the things that they have to do in order to be honored for this class is to read and study Philippians 4.8, which is on integrity. And uh, the first student that I would like to present today will be being escorted in by her father and yes y'all can come on up and she will be receiving her honors from her grandmother that's very special um, and uh, she is in yes her grandmother is also an honor star and a um, can, um and I'm not sure what all she has uh, been a sponsor of, but I know she's been in the program for years and years and years. As you can see, her credentials are greater than mine are. <laughs> but um, we would like for Lily Knight and her father, Jason, to come on in and be escorted. And while they are coming, listen to Lily's integrity report. Integrity to me is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. A person of integrity is honest, helpful, responsible, respectful, kind, and so many other things. To start with, a Bible verse I learned in my STARS class talks about integrity in Philippians 4, 8. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy. Think about such things. I like this verse because it tells me all the things I need to think about as a person with integrity. Someone that I admire is my mom, Stephanie Knight. She has taught me how to be a person of integrity by showing me how to be respectful, kind, helpful, trustworthy, and to stand up for what I believe in. Other people that have taught me about integrity are Miss Kelly Horvath and Miss Donna Willingham. Lastly, I look up to my friend Autumn because I can trust her. She is so funny and such a kind friend. Autumn is full of integrity. One example of integrity that I remember is a time when I stood up for a friend at school. She was upset because someone was yelling at her and being mean. So I told my friend to just walk away and stay positive. Being a person of integrity means being a good friend. I have learned so many things in STARS that I will never forget. We were taught how to show kindness by cooking muffins for a Sunday school class. I have learned about the women of the Bible. I have also learned about growing a closer relationship with Jesus by praying and reading my Bible. I will continue to work hard to be a person of integrity that others can trust. Very good. Also, also one of the things that Lily um, needed to do in order to honor was to read the entire New Testament and take Bible verse uh, testing on those, and she has completed that as well. These are certificates not only from me, but from the district for those completions. And now if you would like to turn to your grandmother, she's going to do the honors of giving you your honor pin. Uh, you can put them. Oh, yeah, yeah, just hand them, hand them to her. Um, she's supposed to have put her sash on. And, yeah, on the right, right side, right, 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 right. Put it on the right Lily also has a gold star on her sash, which means she has honored from all of the programs underneath the one that she is currently in. And that is a huge deal. And now, Pastor will present you with your cord. And your 
crown. Yes, turn it around. There, yes, like that. Aw, so proud of you. Good job, Lily. Good job, sweet girl. Now stand in the middle. Good job. And our final student for this portion also is an honor star. Again, a three-year program, 90% attendance, all of her units completed, New Testament read and in, in the entirety. And we would like to present to you Autumn Nelms, and she is being escorted in by her father, Chris. And while she comes in, listen to her report on integrity. Integrity is where somebody is honest and respectful. Integrity can be honesty, selflessness, and most likely all of the fruits of the spirits. By having integrity in my life, it can, be, it can help me with all sorts of stuff. Being respectful to my peers and honest to them. Honesty will get you in a lot less trouble. Less trouble equals a successful life. For example, when Jesus went into the wilderness, he fasted for 40 days and nights. The serpent tried to break Jesus' integrity by tempting him to sin. In another story of the Bible, for example, of integrity is Joseph. He did what was right by trusting in God. I have a best friend, Lily, who is full of integrity. An example of her having integrity is her being honest to me about people and other stuff and being honest to adults. She is an amazing friend, and I am the luckiest person to have a best friend like her. I look up to her because she shows how to be a better person and I can follow her. She's patient for other people, she's kind to everybody, and she loves everyone. She's a good sport, she's honest to her peers, she's kind, she has self-control, and she has faith in Jesus. She never lets me down and I never let her down. She's my ride or die. And Autumn is being presented with her sash and her pins today by her grandmother. Autumn also was required to read the New Testament in its entirety, and she has done so. So she will be receiving a gold pin for that, as well as an honor pin for completion of the three years. And now you'll go to pastor for your courting. And your crown. So good. Now stand in the middle. Aren't we proud of all of our students? Yeah. And we're proud of our pastors. I want to, all of our volunteers, we couldn't do it without you. And uh, you make for a great program. I want to thank you. Is Vicki Grovenstein here? I want to, you know, just take a moment and thank her for so many years that she put into this program. She stepped away, but her tireless service and dedication made this program what it is today. I'm glad we can pass it on, but without the legacy that she left us with, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Her father was a tremendous supporter of uh, 
missionettes and royal rangers, and it is today what he and she made of it. And I want to just kind of give a little do what's due. And they did. Let's give her a big hand, would you? <laughs> 